Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. So let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of sequence and series. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us that find the sum of an expression that is given to us 3 into 1 cube upon 1 square plus 5 into 1 cube plus 2 cube upon 1 square plus 2 square plus 7 into 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube upon 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. Likewise, then it will be 9, 11 and so on. And this entire sum of the entire expression we have to find out till 10 terms. So we have been asked to find the sum of up to 10 terms for this type of pattern of expression. And if I talk about the options that are given to us here, the first option being 600, second option being 660, third option 680 and the last option 620. So let's solve this question. So if I try to solve this question here, I want to find the sum of all of these 10 terms. So first term, if I try to write it down, 3 into 1 cube upon 1 square. That's my first term, T1. So I can write this T1 in terms of 1. If I write all the numbers, I have this as 1 square already. I have this as 1 cube. But if I try to write 3 also in terms of 1, I can write that as 2 into 1 plus 1. Right? So I can write my first term in terms of 1. Likewise, if I write my second term, that is 5 into 1 cube plus 2 cube and 1 square plus 2 square. So again, if I write down my 5 here, I can write that as 2 into 2 plus 1. So I'm writing it in terms of 2 now into 1 cube plus 2 cube and divided by 1 square plus 2 square. Similarly, if I write my third term, that was 7 into 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube upon 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. So you get this as 7 as 2 into 3 plus 1. And you get this as 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube upon 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. So you get this entire function here. In terms of 7 here, that is 2 into 3, that is a third term plus 1, right? So you get all of these terms. Similarly, if I try to find my nth term now, we know that we have to find the sum of the expression still 10 terms, but let's try to find the nth term. So if I write my nth term also in the same fashion, I can write that as 2 into n plus 1, that's my first term. Then you add all the cubes till nth term. So you get that as 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube till n cube. And you are also dividing it by the square. So 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square till n square. So you square them. So now if I use the idea which we have already understood in the previous videos for sequences, the sum of all the terms from 1 to n cube that is given by n into n plus 1 upon 2 the whole square. So you get this entire thing and sum of all the terms from 1 to n the squares of that you add them up you get that as n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. So you get this entire value for a tn. If I try to simplify this I get tn as 2n plus 1 multiplied with you get n into n plus 1 upon 2, the whole square, upon, you get this as n into n plus 1, into 2n plus 1, upon 6. So let's see what terms I can cancel out with this. I get 2n plus 1, n square, n plus 1 the whole square, upon 4. Here you get n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. So if I cancel out some terms, n and n plus 1 gets cancelled out, 2n plus 1 gets cancelled out, we are left with 
six by four that is two two za two three za. So you get three n n plus one upon two. So you get the nth term now that is three into n into n plus one upon two. Now let's try to find the sum of all the expressions up to ten terms. So let's do that now. So we have got the nth term. Now let's try to find the sum of all of these terms up to ten terms. That was the question asked to us. Before doing that, uh, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. Also, please do like my videos if you are loving these questions that we are solving every day. Okay, let's move and let's continue with the question. So if I talk about the nth term, it is given to me as three n. n plus one upon two. So I have the nth term with me now. What we have been asked to find the sum of first ten terms. So if I try to find the sum of ten terms, summation of r equals to let's say n equals to one to ten. So from one to tenth term, you are finding it out for t n. So all the terms from one to ten. So n equals to one to ten. Three n n plus one upon two. So you are finding the sum for this. If I Take three by two out. You are finding the sum of n equal to one to ten for n square plus. So you are finding the sum for n square plus n. Let's do that. Three by two summation from n equals to one to ten n square plus summation of n equal to one to ten n summation of n equal to one to ten. For n square, we know sum of all of these terms. We just did that. That whenever you have sum of these terms up to n square, it is given by n into n plus one into two n plus one upon six. So in this case, if it is sum of n square from n equal to one to ten, it is given by ten into ten plus one into two n plus one. So two into ten plus one upon six. Plus summation of n equal to one to ten for n that is given as n into n plus one upon two, so n into n plus one upon two. Now you get this as three by two, ten, eleven, twenty one, six, ten, eleven two. So you get this cancelled as two ones, two fives. This gets cancelled as three twos are three sevens are. So you get this entire thing now. You get that as three by two. Then you have ten and two also. If I cancel out two ones, two fives, so you are getting seven into eleven, seventy-seven into five. So if I multiply that, seventy-seven into five, five sevens are thirty-five, three five sevens are thirty-five, three three eighty-five plus fifty-five. So three eighty-five plus fifty-five. So you have three ninety and four forty, four forty into three upon so two ones, two twos. So two twenty into three, which is six. So I get the answer to the question that is six sixty. And if you see the answer choices that matches here with the question is option B. So you get B answer as the correct answer here for sum of all the terms that is asked to us up to ten terms. So what we did first was we found the first term, second term, third term in terms of those number of terms. So first term we found it with the respect of one. Second term we found it with respect to two. Third term we found it with respect to three. Similarly, we found nth term with respect to n. And once I simplified that idea using the sum of the sequences for n cube and n square from one to n, we got that nth term simplified as three into n into n plus one upon two. Then we just found the sum of all the terms from n equal to one to ten, and that matches with our answer. That is six hundred and sixty. So that matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And if you are liking my videos, please do like also. I have got lot of views, but I don't see the many likes there on the videos. So please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also. Share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on GWE, so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.